Physical therapy encompasses the sociological, physiological, and psychological aspect of health. Um, it enables patients and restores functionality and movement anywhere from musculoskeletal injuries to neurological injuries. To be honest, it took me a while. I mean, I didn't really know what I wanted to be when I grew up, and then a lot of my friends were getting hurt playing sports, especially soccer. I played soccer when I was in high school, and my one of my best friends, she was going to have a soccer scholarship, and it all got taken away because she had an ACL um, tear. So I saw her go through, you know, the whole rehabilitation thing, and I was just kind of like, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to help people get back to doing what they love. Physical therapy is uh, really a hands-on profession, and uh, students really need to get out and experience uh, the profession uh, in different types of settings, hospitals, private clinics, um, anywhere that they can get their hands on and actually observe and even assist. The students who will be coming into the program will, should expect that they'll be doing a fair amount of research uh, in, under advisement of a, of a faculty mentor. They'll be guided all the way, but they will be expected to be critical thinkers and to actually produce a scholarly product of which they can be proud. It's um, located in Detroit um, along uh, with uh, the DMC. Uh, DMC. Um, there's multiple opportunities throughout the city, uh, different clinical locations, clinical settings. I mean, just across the street from the DMC, you have uh, the outpatient browser center, you have the spinal cord uh, rehab center, the inpatient, the acute. Uh, it's just a variety of uh, the different locations. Well, I think that the number of clinical hours um, definitely is one of the things that's unique, and that all the students that go through the P2 program at Wayne State all um, have experience in the acute care setting, in the rehab setting, and in the outpatient orthopedic setting. So I think that is one of the things that we really try to do is to prepare a student to be a generalist so that they can, at graduation, be able to practice in any of those practice areas. So in first year, um, you have the fall and the winter, and then the spring semester, you're actually already out in your first year. You do two half times. And then in the fall of second year, you do another part-time clinical where you have two days a week. And then in the summer, between second and third year, you have two six-week clinicals full-time in the hospital or the clinic. And then and after third year, you have two big, long 14-week clinicals. So there is a really a lot of hands-on uh, practice, and it's throughout the curriculum, not saved towards the end, which is really nice. Well, I think physical therapy at the moment is a very good profession to be involved in because as the population ages, there are a number of different fields that are, are requiring more and more. Um, the opportunities are endless. You have opportunities for, in pediatric settings, in um, geriatric set settings, in hospitals, on the sports field. It's a great profession. It gives us a lot of variety. We can work with all kinds of people. We can, uh, from the newly borns uh, and all the way up to the, the elderly, we can work in all kinds of settings. You can have your own practice. You can work for others. You can work in people's homes. So it's a variety of things that we can do. And for me, the best part is really helping someone to get better. I would definitely suggest um getting like keeping up with your science GPA they really take that into consideration so just making yourself very competitive really diversify your your resume if you're in Detroit there's so many opportunities to volunteer there's so many clinics there's so many schools to be tutoring at get out there because as a PT and possibly more than any other health profession you're with the patient so long that you need those experiences of interaction you're going to be with so many different types of people and you, you get that through volunteering and, ex and those types of experience outside the classroom. So you want focus inside the classroom and outside as well.